Welcome everyone. In this video, I will talk about binomial distribution. I am creating videos for your convenience. So it is expected that you will like the video and share with all your friends. So let's start. Before we talk about binomial distribution, we need to understand something known as Bernoulli process. So let us understand what is Bernoulli process. The Bernoulli process must possess the following uh, properties. What are the properties? The experiment consists of repeated trials. Right? I will explain through example. So first go through it. Each trial result in an outcome that may be classified as a success or a failure. The probability of success, which we denote by P, remains constant from trial to trial. Means it will remain constant in each trial. The repeated trials are independent. Means what? Let us understand through one example. Suppose I am tossing a coin 25 times. So it means we are doing the experiment multiple times. Means this is a case of a repeated trial. Suppose getting a head is success for me. Getting a head is success for me. Right. So each trial result in an outcome that may be classified as a success. So if I get a head, it is a success for me. If I get a tail, it is a failure of failure of me. Right. So for each uh, trial, uh, there is a possibility that either I may get a success or a failure. The probability of success denoted by P remains constant from trial to trial. So what does this mean? It means here that in this case, if I am asking what is the probability of getting a head, the probability of getting a head is 1 by 2. So probability of getting a head is 1 by 2 and it remains constant in each of the trial. So if you toss the coin first time, the probability of uh, getting a head is 1 by 2, second time 1 by 2, third time 1 by 2, it will not change. It is not like the coin will change its behavior. The probability of getting uh, or turning up a head will remain 1 by 2. And the repeated trials are independent. What does it mean? It means that if you are uh, tossing a coin, suppose for the first time you got a head. Now let me ask you, what do you think if I toss the coin second time? Whether the probability of getting a head will change or not change? It will certainly not change. What was the outcome in the previous uh, trial will not affect the outcome in the next trial, right? Because two trials are independent of each other. So this kind of process is known as Bernoulli process. I hope you have understood it. You can take another example of throwing a die. So uh, and if suppose I say that I am throwing the die 30 times, right? So there are n number of trials means we are performing the experiment n number of times. And when I throw a die, the outcome is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So, but in this case, I won't look at the outcome like there are six outcome. I will classify them in two parts, either a success or a failure. So, suppose I am saying that getting a six is a success for me or getting anything from one to five is a failure for me. So, what is the probability of success? P, probability of success P is one by six. And if you allow me to write probability of failure as Q, it will be five by six. So each outcome is associated with either a success or a failure. So if I am getting anything from 1 to 5, it means I am failing. If I am getting 6, it means I am succeeding. Now third observation is that probability of success uh, denoted by P remains constant in each trial. So means no matter how many times you are throwing the die, the probability of success will remain uh, same, means it will remain 1 by 6 only. And the last uh, observation that the trials are independent of each other that is also very obvious because no matter uh, what you were, what was your outcome in the previous trial it will not affect your outcome in the next trial. So if you got a 5 in the 7th uh, suppose toss or trial you will get uh, what you will get in 8th trial is still uh, you know independent of your previous outcome. Okay, So this is also an example of Bernoulli process. Now let us look at the binomial distribution. Uh, just uh, uh, look at this, uh, you know, things again, and I will explain uh, through examples as well. So the random uh, variable here, uh, x. Uh, let me read it first. The number x of success in n Bernoulli trial. 
Bernoulli trial you already have understood and I am counting the number of success and I'm that I am representing by X uh, is called a binomial random variable it is called a binomial random variable and the probability distribution of this discrete random variable now this is a discrete random variable it is also very important sometimes they ask this question that binomial distribution is discrete or continuous so it is a discrete I will explain why so the probability distribution of this discrete random variable is called binomial distribution and its value will be denoted by BXNP where uh, X is the value that the random variable capital X can take and N is the number of trial and P is the probability of success. Now it is important to remember that this N and P are known as and it is also very important they ask this N and P are known as as parameters parameters of binomial distribution right because uh, if we know in n and p we can find the probability of any number of success or we may calculate the probability for uh, different random variables so that is why they are known as parameter you will see uh, in the uh, you know uh, binomial distribution probability distribution there is a term q is also coming but q is not independent it is dependent on p right so uh, this is like binomial distribution the values are denoted by bx and p since they depend upon the number of trial and probability of success in a given trial now let us look at this again a Bar bernoulli trial can result in a success with probability p and a failure with probability uh, q that is 1 minus p so it is important to remember that in case of uh, 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 Bernoulli distribution or binomial distribution in case of binomial distribution the probability of success plus probability of failure that is P plus Q will always remain one because we are just associating two outcome either a success or a failure right now uh, the probability distribution for this discrete random variable is given by B X and P uh, which we can also represent by probability for X number of success and it is given by the formula N C X so where N is the number of trial and to calculate the probability of X number of success we write N C X P is the probability of success so P to the power X and Q to the power N minus X and here this X can take uh, total n plus 1 values and this is also important to remember why because when you are doing an experiment n times what are the possibilities you may get zero number of success you may be very unlucky you may get zero number of success you may get one number of success you may get two number of success you may get three number of success or you may get n number of success so the binomial uh, random variable capital X can take how many values it can take n plus 1 values if I am performing an experiment five times I may get a zero number of success one number of success two number of success three four or five success so in total the random variable X can take six values so this is very important to keep in mind now how this formula is obtained yeah, uh, that can also be explained and just to explain it let me take a very a small example suppose I am taking the same example of tossing a coin so if I am tossing a coin suppose for example three times then what are the possible outcome the possible outcome is head 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 tail head tail head and head tail tail and then the four outcomes are tail head head tail uh, head tail 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 head and tail 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 now if I ask you that in uh, three trial what is the probability of two success what is the probability that the random variable X can uh, turn up head twice so you can see that turning of head twice actually corresponds to this value head 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 tail head and tail head head now it means what that two heads can occur in three way it is just like that you have to select two heads out of three uh, trials right so that can be done in how many ways that can be done in three c2 ways right 
if i ask you that if you have to select x success in n trial i repeat and look at the formula let me write the formula here to understand it better ncx sorry ncx p to the power x q to the power n minus x that is your formula for probability of x is equal to x success so if you are looking for x success in n trial then that may occur in ncx wage and you can see here clearly like in case of three trials two success may happen in 3c2 means three wage so x success in n trial can happen in ncx wage right so that is why we write ncx now x number of successes are happening the probability of one success is p so probability of x number success is p p p multiplied how many times x times and similarly if x number of successes are happening n minus x failures are happening and failure probability i am representing by q q q so that is what we are getting we are getting n c x p to the power x q to the power n minus x i hope you have understood this in uh, my previous videos when i was uh, discussing about discrete random variable i have told you that uh, the discrete random variable x can have two properties or it will have two properties that probability uh, will always be greater than or equal to zero and sum of probability will always be equal to one so here also uh, you of course this uh, gives the positive uh, value so there is no doubt in that but i just want to verify that suppose i ask you that verify that summation of probability of x is equal to 1 or if they ask that prove that uh, this uh, is uh, a discrete this this uh, probability distribution is actually a probability distribution so how to verify that to re to verify that you have to take the summation of px and what will be the px here the px will be ncx p to the power x q to the power n minus x and as you already have seen that x can take value from 0 to n because if you are tossing something or if you are sorry if you are performing the trial n number of time the success may happen from 0 to n number of time so if you do this expansion and i'm just doing it for you so that you understand it better so i'm going to uh, write it in uh, uh, this side because there is not much uh, space here so uh, this result i have written here just for our convenience now let us expand it x varies from 0 to n so if i take 0 i will get nc0 p to the power 0 q to the power n minus 0 that is 1 if i take x is equal to 1 i will get nc1 p to the power 1 q to the power n minus 1 if i take x is equal to 2 i will get nc2 p to the power 2 q to the power n minus 2 and so on dot 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 what will be the last term if i take x is equal to n so i will get n c n p to the power n and q to the power 0 so if you have studied binomial distribution in your earlier class you will agree that this just for your convenience i am writing it again it is n c 0 q to the power n p to the power 0 plus n c 1 q to the power n minus 1 p to the power 1 and so on the last term n c n q to the power 0 and p to the power n so this is nothing but the binomial expansion of q plus p to the power n and since we know that in case of a uh, Bernoulli distribution the probability of success plus probability of failure is equal to 1 because there are only two possibilities so that is 1 to the power n means this is equal to 1 so it means that what uh, i have obtained or the formula that i have actually given is uh, verified that it can be considered as a binomial uh, or probability distribution now uh, let me uh, quickly uh, uh, repeat two three important point and this is very very important first binomial distribution uh, is based on bernoulli process there are four uh, characteristic of bernoulli process keep that in mind second thing is it is a discrete random variable binomial distribution a binomial uh, random variable is a discrete uh, random variable uh, n and p are known as its parameters right and probability for x number of success is given by ncx p to the power x 
q to the power n minus x and x can take its value from 0 to n so these are the things which we already have discussed now i will uh, in moment generating function video i will uh, give you a proof about this also because that will also be a part of your discussion but here i'm just keeping this uh, result in mind that mean we already know that what is mean mean of a distribution is given by summation of x into px and here you can verify also i mean this i leave for you as a homework exercise and if you uh, can complete it it will be better for you so if you take this x varies from 0 to n x into n c x p to the power x q to the power n minus x this will basically give you n into p where n is the number of trial p, p is the probability of success so mean of a binomial distribution is n into p and what is the variance variance is n into p into 1 minus p or we can also call it n p q right i hope you remember how to calculate the variance from our uh, you know previous videos variance is calculated by expectation of x square minus expectation of x whole square so i leave this for you as an exercise uh, just by the using the definition you try to do it but i will be discussing the proof separately when i will be discussing moment generating function and that i will be talking about after completing all the different kind of distribution but one thing uh, this is very important to keep in mind and another important thing that you need to keep in mind that what is the relation between mean and variance so here you can clearly see that mean is n into p and we know that probability uh, of success lies between uh, 0 to uh, 1 right probability of success lies between 0 to 1 so q lies between 0 to 1 also because p plus q is equal to 1 right if, if the probability of success is like uh, 0 then uh, it will be like every time you are getting a failure so that is also uh, not a acceptable thing I think I should uh, not write this because uh, if I am expe uh, expecting at least two outcome then probability should be greater than 0 and if probability is less than or equal to 1 should also be not written I have deliberately written it so that uh, you think about it getting my point or not because if I am doing something and I say that probability is 1 means it will not result into two outcome it will always remain success so here probability of success lies between 0 to 1 so probability of success lies between 0 to 1 and p plus q is equal to 1 so it certainly means that q also lies between 0 to 1 so you have np and you are multiplying it by q and q is a value which is a smaller than 1 so npq will become less than np i hope you got it if you are taking np and you are multiplying it by a value q which is basically a smaller than 1 so if you multiply something by a quantity less than 1 that quantity will become less right so np cube is less than np so this is the important relation in case of binomial distribution we can say that mean is greater than variance or we can say that variance is less than mean right they ask this uh, sometime that what is the relation between mean and variance so you have to keep this in mind this facts i am highlighting for mcq problem solving now after the concepts let us discuss the problems so here the first problem is 10 coins are thrown simultaneously so i can consider that i am performing uh, n number of trials means here n is equal to 10 right each uh, each like uh, coin can be considered as one trial and they are asking find the probability of getting at least seven heads so don't make a mistake at least seven head means we have to calculate the probability for x greater than or equal to seven so if i'm tossing uh, or throwing 10 coins or if i'm tossing the coin 10 times seven heads at least seven head means what that if i get seven head or eight head or nine head or ten head that all should be included at least uh, by at least we mean that right so if i have to calculate the probability of getting at least seven heads so this is basically probability of x x what is x the random variable what is the random variable the number of successes in n number of trials so if i want the number of success to be greater than or equal to seven so it can also be seen as probability for x is equal to seven plus probability for x is equal to 8 plus probability for x is equal to 9 plus probability for x is equal to 10 and we know the formula probability for x is equal to x is given by 
n c x p to the power x q to the power n minus x so this will be what here n is 10 so 10 c 7 p means probability of uh, getting a head which i am uh, calling success is of course 1 by 2 no discussion about that so that is 1 by 2 to, to the power 7 and q the q so probability of getting a tail or failure is also 1 by 2 it remains same so that is also to the power 3 plus for x is equal to head 10 c 8 probability of success 1 by 2 to the power 8 probability of failure 1 by 2 to the power 2 plus 10 c 9 probability of success 1 by 2 to the power 9 probability of failure 1 by 2 to the power 1 and for 10 it is 10 c 10 1 by 2 to the power 10 and 1 by 2 to the power 0 right so i hope it is clear to you now uh, see it is it was a nice situation where the probability of success and failure was same but it it is not a, uh, a rule it may be anything as i told you that probability here lies between 0 to 1 and q also lies between 0 to 1 so if you look at this uh, in all those term 1 by 2 to the power 10 is a common factor because 7 plus 3 10 8 plus 2 10 9 plus 1 10 10 plus 0 10 so i can just take them common and in the bracket we get 10 c7 10 c8 10 c9 and 10 c10 i hope you know how to evaluate 1 by 2 to the power 10 will be basically 1 0 2 4 10 c7 uh, uh, can be calculated as 10 c7 is nothing but 10 c3 this is the rule of binom uh, you know what you call it uh, binomial coefficient that ncr is equal to ncn minus r and when we have to calculate 10 c3 there is a shortcut method suppose we have to calculate 10 c3 so what we do we write three terms from 10 so 10 into 9 into 8 by then 3 into 2 into 1 this is a shortcut method so 10 c7 can be considered as 10 c3 and it can be written as 10 into 9 into 8 by 3 into 2 into 1 if you are confused just do it whatever way you know ncr is equal to factorial n by factorial r into n minus r how we, i will solve 10 c8 i will consider is 10 c2 so 10 into 9 and then there are two term 2 into 1 10 c9 is nothing but 10 because we know the result n c n minus 1 is n and n c n is equal to 1 these are the basic things i hope you know so if you simplify all these things what you will get is 176 by 1024 very simple question let's move to the next question the next question is that a and b play games right and uh, in which their chances of winning are in the ratio not ration <laughs> sorry there is a mistake here it is uh, a ratio so I just uh, I can't you know delete them so I'm just removing them uh, not ration it is ratio 3 is to 2 find age chances of winning at least 3 game out of 5 games played so to solve it how many trials we are performing we are performing 5 trials 5 games are being played so each game is a trial so n is equal to 5 and what is the probability of a winning the game because we like we require the probability of success so it is given that a and b play a game in which the chances of a winning are in the ratio of 3 is to 2 means the probability of a success is 3 by 3 plus 2 that is 3 by 5 so in 5 games actually a wins 3 games so that probability of success is 3 by 5 and what is uh, q so q is 1 minus p so 1 minus 3 by 5 is 2 by 5 now what is the probability of a winning at least 3 games so at least 3 game means what that we have to calculate the probability for uh, uh, x greater than or equal to 3 yes or no so probability for x greater than or equal to 3 so it can be uh, considered as probability of x equal to 3 uh, plus probability for x is equal to 4 uh, plus probability for x is equal to 5 so for 3 uh, uh, what is the formula i hope you remember n c x p to the power x q to the power n minus x here n is 5 so 5 c 3 probability of success 3 by 5 to the power 3 and probability of failure 2 by 5 to the power 2 then n c 4 sorry 5 c 4 n is 5 because and probability 3 by uh, 5 to the power 4 and uh, 2 by 5 to the power 1 
and plus uh, 5c5 uh, 3 by 5 to the power 5 and 2 by 5 to the power 0 so uh, just to uh, save some uh, space and time I am leaving this part for you to complete the computation part and compute and give me the answer in the comment section right what is your answer give me the in the comment section that will also help me to understand that whether you can manage the computation with binomial coefficients or not uh, this is a uh, important uh, kind of problems so let us uh, do this a coffee connoisseur claim this is a difficult word it is just means someone who loves coffee coffee lover <laughs> Uh, so a coffee connoisseur claim that he can distinguish between a cup of instant coffee and a cup of percolator coffee 75 percent of the time so basically there are two kinds of coffee and someone who is very fond of coffee he is making a claim that he can distinguish means if you just blindfold him and just give him a cup of coffee he can tell 75 percent of the time correctly that whether it is an instant coffee or a percolator coffee it is agreed that his claim will be accepted that if he correctly identifies at least five of the six cup now suppose consider this situation like uh, one of your friend is claiming that he is very fond of coffee and he can distinguish between uh, you know instant or percolator coffee 75 percent of the time you being a uh, you know suspicious man you say that no i don't uh, uh, buy your claim uh, you have to prove it and you have uh, set a rule that if I, I will offer you six cup of coffees uh, of uh, maybe of any type and if you are able to identify at least five times correctly that whether it is a uh, instant coffee or a percolator coffee then I will agree that you are uh, actually a coffee lover right now find his chance of having the claim accepted and rejected when he does have the ability he claims so I think uh, uh, you can look at this problem uh, in the way the binomial distribution works so basically the person who has to test the coffee he has to perform six trials because he will be uh, given the six cup of coffees to try so he will be performing six number of trial and as per his claim uh, and it is written here that when he does have the ability he claims so as per his claim uh, he will be able to distinguish 75 percent of the time so the probability is 75 by 100 which can be considered as 3 by 4 and probability of failure will be 1 minus 3 by 4 that will be equal to 1 by 4 I hope up to this there is no doubt now what is his chance uh, claim um, what is the probability that his ch uh, chances of his claim being accepted it means what that his claim will be accepted if he is able to identify at least five of the six cup means if his success if his success x represent the random variable and x counts the number of success if his success is greater than five means if he is able to identify all the six cup correctly then of course good but he must have to at least identify five cups correctly so we have to calculate the probability of x greater than or equal to five so basically we have to calculate the probability for x is equal to five and probability for x is equal to six so probability for x is equal to five now we are confident about the formula n is six so six c five probability of success is 3 by 4 to the power 5 probability of failure that is 1 by 4 to the power 1 6 minus 5 that is 1 and c, uh, x is equal to 6 6 c 6 and 3 by 4 to the power 6 and 1 by 4 to the power 0 so if you do this evaluation I am leaving this for you to complete it it will be uh, 0 0.534 you just uh, check it and let me know in the comment section that whether you agree or disagree agree or disagree yes or no uh, agree or disagree I was making a, a spelling mistake but that is not a point right now what is the uh, probability that his claim will be rejected so his claim will be rejected when he is uh, identifying up to four cups correctly means if you say uh, that he test six cup one 
नो नो यू नो सक्सेस वन सक्सेस टू सक्सेस थ्री सक्सेस और फोर सक्सेस मीन्स अप टू फोर सक्सेस हिज क्लेम विल बी रिजेक्टेड सो इट इज जस्ट इट कैन ऑल्सो बी सीन दैट टोटल प्रोबेबिलिटी वी नो वी हैव ऑलरेडी प्रूवड इट दैट सम ऑफ प्रोबेबिलिटी इज इक्वल टू वन सो वी नो दैट इट इज इक्वल टू वन एंड फ्रॉम दिस आई सब्ट्रैक्ट द प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ हिज क्लेम बींग एक्सेप्टेड सो वन माइनस जीरो पॉइंट फाइव थ्री फोर विच विल बी इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट फोर सिक्स सिक्स राइट सो दिस इज अ वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन बट वेरी पॉपुलर क्वेश्चन मे बी आस्ट now uh, let us look at this question and i uh, leave this question for you uh, to solve and give me the answer in the comment section right comment a very simple question i'm going to this question and which is a rather very interesting problem so that is why i have left the easier problem for you to solve and just just make sure that you solve an answer that will actually motivate me that uh, you are watching the video seriously and then i will be motivated to uh, create the other videos so in a precision bombing attack there are 50% chance that any bomb will strike the target two direct hits are required means if you want to destroy the target completely you have to hit the target two times how many bombs must be dropped to given 99% chance or better of completely destroying the target ladies and gentlemen first of all i hope you are smart enough to understand that if i say that if you want to kill someone and to kill someone you must have to hit two bullets uh, when i am reading the problem i am recalling the scene of gangs of wasepur i am not sure whether you have watched it or not you can put it in comment section also when fajal khan was uh, in the last scene was uh, shooting uh, ramadhir singh he was shooting like he has gone mad thousands of bullet he has fired so he just wanted to make sure that there is no chance of his survival so here is the same case that if you want 99% or better chance that the target should be destroyed for that you have to hit the target at least twice completely right now if you are hitting the target more than twice also then there is no problem right it is not like if you hit twice someone will die and then three times he will you know again uh, come alive <laughs> it is not possible yeah so uh, how to solve this problem let us think about it so to solve it suppose i say that uh, we have to uh, hit the target n times and this is what we have to find we have to find the value of n right uh, so i am going to perform the random experiment n time and it is given that in a precision bombing attack there is a 50% chance so the probability of success in one hit is 1 by 2 50% means 50 by 100 that is 1 by 2 now what basically you want to do uh, you also uh, have been given this on information that uh, if you have to completely destroy the target you have to hit the target at least you have to hit the target at least twice okay so uh, what we need to do in this case see there are two things two direct hits are required means if i am hitting the target n times i want the success to be at least two times means i want to hit the target either equal to two times or greater than two times and this probability of hitting the target either two times or greater than two times should be greater than or equal to 0.99 99% chance means probability should be greater than or equal to 0.99 right i hope you have understood this point now you are also i hope clear that if i am hitting the target n times and i have to calculate the probability of x greater than or equal to 2 basically uh, from total probability i want to subtract the probability of hitting the target 0 times and hitting the target 1 times right so what i can do i can also write at this as 1 minus probability of x less equal to 0 let me write it like this probability of x is equal to 0 plus probability for x is equal to 1 and this probability should be greater than or equal to 0.99 okay now uh what uh, should i do 
I think after this it is very obvious so 1 minus for 0 number of success out of n number of trial the probability is nc0 probability of success is 1 by 2 so 1 by 2 to the power 0 and probability of failure is also 1 by 2 because p plus q so p is 1 by 2 so q is also 1 by 2 so it should be 1 by 2 to the power n and plus one success nc1 probability of uh, success 1 by 2 to the power 1 probability of failure 1 by 2 to the power n minus 1 and that should be greater than or equal to 0 0.99 so this gives me what this gives me 1 minus nc0 so nc0 is equal to basically 1 you know that and here it is 1 by 2 to the power 0 so it is 1 by 2 to the power n and the second term is nc1 is actually n and it is also 1 by 2 to the power n so this should be greater than or equal to 0 0.99 right I'm changing the color here now this implies 1 minus 1 by 2 to the power n if I take common I will get n plus 1 and this would be greater than or equal to 0 0.99 this implies 1 minus 0 0.99 should be greater than or equal to 1 by 2 to the power n n plus 1 right so this implies n plus 1 uh, by 2 to the power or let me uh, write one more step otherwise you will be uh, confused so basically I now have got the idea I'm just trying to solve it so I can write it uh, 0.11 so 0. Point, if you solve it you will get 0 0.01 not 11 sorry so 0 0.01 is basically 1 by 100 this would be greater than or equal to 1 by 2 n into n plus 1 right so this gives us what this gives us uh, uh, 2 to the power n if I do this multiplication this gives us 2 to the power n should be greater than or equal to 100 into n plus 1 I hope there is no confusion in the calculation if you have any confusion you can try it yourself and let me know so I just uh, did the cross multiplication I multiplied it with 2 to the power n in this side and 100 in that side now to solve this uh, one way is to use the log and make it complex otherwise we can also go by trial method so if you uh, take n is equal to 10 you will get 2 to the power 10 and that is equal to 1024 and here if you take 10 10 plus 1 is 11 so that is equal to 1100 so for n is equal to 10 it is not satisfied because uh, for 10 it is uh, two, uh, 1224 and it is 1100 but if I take n is equal to 11 I will get 2 to the power 11 which is equal to 2048 and here if I take n is equal to 11 11 plus 1 is 12 so 1200 so this will give me n is equal to 11 so if you are hitting the target with 50% uh, precision and if you want to be confident that you uh, have made 99 percent sure that you have killed the enemy for that you have to hit the target at least 11 times okay so let's move ahead this was a important question uh, so let's move ahead this is just based on formula the mean and variance of a binomial distribution are 4 and 4 by 3 so it is given that mean that is n is n into p is 4 and variance that is the formula n p cube is 4 by 3 find the probability for x number of success and I have as I have told you in uh, one of the previous discussion not in, in previous discussion in this video itself that to find the probability in case of binomial distribution we require two things we require n and we require the probability of success because these two are known as parameter so if I call this equation number one and this as equation number two I can divide n key n p q by n p so what I will get I will get uh, uh, 4 by 3 and n p is 4 so basically what we are getting we are getting NP and NP cancel and we are getting Q is equal to 1 by 3 and if Q is equal to 1 by 3 then what is P P is equal to 1 minus Q because P plus Q is equal to 1 so it is 2 by 3 so we got P 2 by 3 now we want N so N can be obtained by using the relation 1 that is 4 by uh, P so 4 by 2 by 3 so that is uh, 4 into 3 by 2 so 4 into 3 12 by 2 that is equal to 6 okay so n is equal to 6 so now I have to calculate probability for uh, greater than or 1 success 
सो ग्रेटर देन वन मे बी वाट इट मे बी वन इट मे बी टू इट मे बी थ्री इट मे बी फोर इट मे बी फाइव इट मे बी सिक्स बट दैट इज नॉट द राइट अप्रोच बिकॉज वी नो दैट टोटल प्रोबेबिलिटी इज वन सो आई मे फ्रॉम वन आई कैन सब्ट्रैक्ट प्रोबेबिलिटी फॉर एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो सक्सेस बिकॉज इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कैलकुलेट प्रोबेबिलिटी फॉर वन और मोर सक्सेस मीन्स जस्ट वन पॉसिबिलिटी इज लेफ्ट दैट जीरो सक्सेस सो वन माइनस प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ जीरो सक्सेस एन सी जीरो सो एन इज सिक्स सी जीरो प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ सक्सेस इज टू बाई थ्री टू दी पावर जीरो प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ फेलियर इज वन बाई थ्री एंड सिक्स माइनस जीरो इज इक्वल टू सिक्स सो वट वी गॉट वन माइनस सिक्स सी जीरो इज वन टू टू दी पावर थ्री टू दी पावर जीरो इज वन सो वन माइनस वन बाय थ्री टू दी पावर सिक्स सो कंप्लीट दिस एंड गेट योर आंसर जस्ट डू द रिमेनिंग कैलकुलेशन सो दिस इज सम प्रॉब्लम्स रिलेटेड टू बायोमियल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन वी हैव डन फोर फाइव प्रॉब्लम्स वी हैव डिस्कस्ड द कॉन्सेप्ट आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड द प्रॉब्लम इन केस ऑफ एनी डाउट जस्ट पुट द डाउट इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन आई हैव ट्राई टू कीप द वीडियो शॉर्ट बट स्टिल इट इज अराउंड मोर देन फोर्टी मिनट but uh, i have tried covering different kind of problems so please uh, do share uh, in the next i'll be talking about poisson and negative binomial distribution and in the end uh, i will be talking about the moment generating function that will take care of uh, the whole uh, idea or whole unit so that's all for this video thanks for watching